Pick a number two or 87 and drop it in the comments below and come back and listen to your beautiful angel message here today. Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, here to share some wisdom and insights from the angelic realm. All right, so if you've picked two, it's all about things work out. Is your life a bit of a mess right now? Well, number two is here to tell you that everything is working out in a beautiful way. So hang in there, don't give up, because it's all right around the corner and it is happening for you. So speaking of it's happening for you, this is something we often get caught in. We get trapped in this victim mode that everything is happening to us, that we can never get a break and that all the bad stuff always um, comes back on us. Everybody else has it made, but we're the ones that never get a break. And so it's super important to become aware if you feel yourself falling into this trap, this hole of stinking thinking, right? Um, because the universe is happening for you, not to you. That's how you take back your power with that affirmation. Because when you think about things that are happening to you, you're stepping into victim mode, which is keeping you stuck in a low vibration and creating more crap <laughs> coming at you in your life. But when you can find a shred of gratitude for whatever happened or um, find some way to see a positive spin on it, to put a positive spin on it, it helps you stay above that um, stinking th stinking thinking vibration. And it helps you come out of that quicker and manifest positive things, things that you would like to draw into your environment. Um, but the also, uh, another point about everything is happening for you is that there's lessons and learning and growth. And so all of the experiences that you're having in your life are actually creating the person that you are and the person that you are becoming. So if we only had good, good experiences every single day of our life, I mean, honestly, it would get a little boring. Have you ever watched a movie where it just is too perfect? <laughs> no, they they don't make movies like that because they wouldn't sell. Um, the whole point of being human is having challenges and struggles and overcoming them against all odds. So if you're having, uh, you know, if you're in a valley, <laughs> There are peaks and valleys, ups and downs. That is just the nature of life. And it's a circle. So you know that if you're in a valley, there's no way out but up because valleys don't last forever. They don't. It is a law of the universe, the, the, uh, the peaks and the valleys. And so it it's important to keep your vibration high when you're in a valley and to trust that things are going to work out in a beautiful way for you. And so if you pick number two, or if you're seeing twos, two, 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 um, the angels have heard your cry. So the angels are with us 24 seven and they see us struggling. They can hear and feel our pain. And so this is a sign that they have heard you, that they're with you and they're working to help you resolve this. They're bringing in um, resources to help you move through this in a beautiful, beautiful way. And so you are supported. Now, the other message with number two is stop forcing things. Stop pushing things, forcing things, trying to make things happen. So sometimes that can have a boomerang effect for us, right? Especially if it's not in our highest good. So if we force something to happen, uh, it usually comes with a consequence. Yeah, yeah. So it's super, super important. If you feel like you're knocking your head against the wall and it's just not working out, take a deep breath, take a step back and trust that if it's meant to happen, it will happen when it's supposed to, that you've done 
everything humanly possible. And now it's time for you to just take a step back and let go and let God, if this is meant for you to have, for this to happen in this way, it will, it will. And if it doesn't, that means something better is coming along. So trust and believe out of this experience, only good will come. Everything is working out. Now, in terms of love, it's the same energy. You might feel like giving up. You might feel like this is hopeless. What the heck am I doing here? Um, but two is a sign to hang in there a little bit longer. Things are working out. There's unseen forces that are happening behind the scenes that you don't know about, that you can't see. And if you just hang in there a little bit longer, uh, there's a shift, there's a transformation, there's a change that changes everything. So don't give up. Communication is key. Remember, people cannot read your mind. <laughs> they don't always know the perfect thing to say or the perfect thing to do. Sometimes you have to tell them. Sometimes you have to communicate with them. And I know it gets exhausting. Um, at, you know, you're probably, you might be thinking at this point they should know, um, but it just isn't always the, the case. So you can never, ever, ever communicate too much. <laughs> All right. So here's your affirmation. Pop it in the comments below. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And then imagine that. Imagine all your fears just evaporating and imagine the best and highest um, possible outcome in this situation. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what happens from that. <laughs> all right, well, if you picked 87, it's all about coincidence. Is the uncertainty of your life getting the best of you? So if you picked 87, it really is a very similar message as number two. It is about having faith. It is about trusting that God has a divine plan for you. And when you get in the way, oftentimes it just hold things, holds things up. So let... God um, drive the car, right? Um, I forget what the country Western song talks about, uh, letting God take the wheel. <laughs> You're just a passenger, right? <laughs> you just set your intention and then, you know, the universe, the divine, your divine God, whatever, they're really in charge of the plan. And there is a plan. There are no accidents. There are no coincidences. There are only synchronicities. Synchronicities. God is always bringing you the perfect people at the perfect time for the perfect opportunity to be presented. Or in terms of love, Lord, please bring me the perfect partner at the perfect time for the perfect union. Whenever you hold that statement, three perfects, in the statement, it adds so much power to it. I actually, um, for our son, I wrote that on a card and now I've got that on a card for my daughter. And uh, for our son, it was miraculous, miraculous. He's living an amazing life now. And um, five years ago, it, it, it was a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, but yes, I just kept praying that prayer for him. And my daughter's life is moving into miraculous things as well as I've been uh, holding that prayer for her in her life. It's unbelievable how much power that has. So remember, synchronicities defy all logic. So when you set your intention, you don't have to worry about how you're going to make it happen or um, how you're going to get it to happen, your only position is to hold the space for it to happen. <laughs> I know this is a hard one because it's a hard one for me too. I'm always working, working, working. How can I figure this out? How can I get this uh, done? Um, but 
really, you know, when you have done everything humanly possible, uh, like I am not saying not to take any action, but when you've done everything humanly possible and it, it's still not happening or you, you're still not getting the result, <laughs> that's when you need to just keep envisioning, keep imagining the best possible outcome and hold true to that because that's how you keep that vibration high and those miracles can't happen when your vibration is low. Yeah, it, it I mean, it, it could happen, it does happen, but it takes forever. Uh, so if you want to um, quantum jump <laughs> all of it, get into alignment with imagining the best possible outcome. You're a powerful creator. If you knew the power that you had in creating the life that you desire, it would blow your mind. So don't underestimate the power of your imagination and believing the possibilities and potential for your life. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, now when we look at the number 87, we've got eight, which is prosperity, and then we have seven, which is all about um, being on the right path. You are on the right path. And when we add eight plus seven, we get 15, one plus five equals six, and that's harmony. So you've got all this beautiful energy rolled up into number 87, trust in divine order. Oh yeah, I can feel it for you already. I can feel that shift happening. And so in terms of love, this is about letting your heart guide you, letting love guide you. And so if you're stuck in your head, logically trying to figure something out or work it through, and it's just not happening, just move into your heart. And that might even have just simply to do with letting go of um, the person perseverating about the situation and that person and just focusing on loving yourself, right? Because love in your heart creates miracles in your life. I love that one. Um, all right, now here's your beautiful affirmation. Be sure to pop it in the comments below. Adds that extra power in your life. I trust in divine order. How? Can I let this be easy? I trust in divine order. How can I let this be easy? Oh yeah, and you can. This is happening for you right now. I feel it, I feel it. All right, everyone, I'm Julie Geigel. If you'd like to learn more about my services or events that I offer, you can Find me over at heavensenthealing.us. And while you're over there, don't forget to stop by our blog and listen to this month's free meditation. All right, everyone, we'll see you next time. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Mwah!